Meghan and Harry's own frog more cottage is a heaven for baby Archie. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were gifted the property from the Queen. Prince Harry and Meghan moved into their home Frogmore Cottage on the Queen's Windsor Estate in April 2019. Shortly before their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor was born, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex kept the property as their UK base after their decision to step back from royal duties, and moved to North America earlier this year, and as it remains as their private home, there are few details about the interiors. What we do know, though, suggests that much of the design has been steered to suit baby Archie. It's situated in front of an incredible lake and Frogmore house, where the couple hosted their wedding reception in May 2018, and is listed as a Grade Dyer building. Inside, it is reported that there are five bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room and a nursery for Archie. No doubt, the couple will have put a lot of effort into making Archie's room perfect. With the whole renovation in 2019 costing the sovereign grant a reported £2.4 million. The home underwent extensive renovation works before the couple moved in. And it was said that Meghan hired Soho House's interior design of the Kitchells to decorate the space. Apparently, Meghan requested that they used vegan and organic paint, in keeping with her largely vegan diet. To keep her son Archie healthy as opposed to using chemical-based products. Outside. Megan is also likely to have planted several of Archie's lemon yellow namesake chrysanthemums in the garden. Archie was granted the honorary flower as part of a tradition which dictates that royal family members receive a namesake variety of the flower, in a nod to the blooms, that decorated Westminster Abbey on Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip's wedding day in 1947. Vicky's unique sense of style and what Megan saw at the Soho House Club may have also transferred into Frogmore Cottage. The clubs take design inspiration from the 1920s and 30s, with luxury furniture including velvet sofas and chandeliers. Although Meghan and Harry will have of course made it their own. Vicky previously told Soho House, private homes are incredibly different. The clients come to us because they want the Soho House aesthetic but you have to make it right for that family. Or whoever lives there in their space, so it's not a cookie cutter thing you can just drop in. Both Harry and Meghan are also big art fans, with Harry having gifted Meghan a romantic canvas of reading. Everybody Needs Somebody to Love by British artist Van Donna, during their courtship. The Queen is also believed to have given the couple a series of paintings from her own personal collection after they moved in. Harry and Meghan will keep Frogmore Cottage as their UK home. It was revealed on Saturday that Harry, Duke of Sussex, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex will keep Frogmore Cottage as their UK home after they reveal they will split their time between the UK and North America after announcing they are stepping back from royal duties. The couple, who will no longer use their HRH status and will no longer represent the Queen, have agreed to repay the £2.4 million of taxpayers' money spent on refurbishing their Windsor home. The private couple may not have shared the full details of their renovations. But from time to time we are given rare glimpses of the couple's interior design choices. Of course one of the most important of Meghan's decor decisions involved creating a gorgeous nursery for baby Archie. For this, the couple reportedly hired Vicky Charles, Soho House's top interior designer, to transform Frogmore Cottage into a new baby haven ahead of their move to Windsor. As well as kitting out their house for little Archie, the couple are believed to have painted his nursery with vegan and organic paint. Fans speculated that they might have been given a glimpse of Harry and Meghan's interior choices back in September 2019, when Harry shared a rare, informal message with social media followers about the fifth anniversary of the Invictus Games. They were definitely given a unique insight into the couple's taste in interior decor earlier last year, when Meghan's makeup artist and close friend Daniel Martin posted an Instagram photograph of a brunch they shared together after he'd flown to the UK to visit her. The snap showed a distressed rustic table, a black and white table runner and a selection of stoneware crockery, which has been identified as part of Soho Homes' country house collection. Meghan and Harry were thought to have chosen gifts for their wedding list from the Soho Home range. It was first thought that Meghan and Daniel may have headed to Oxfordshire's Soho farmhouse for their meetup. But the beauty expert took to his Instagram story to reveal that Meghan had hosted at home. His photograph was captioned. Back to Arctic days. 
Thank you Megan for being the consummate hostess this weekend and still being the avocado toast whisperer, yum. Megan's choices include the Soho Home Country House teapot, which sells for £25 in a small size and £35 for the large, and what looks like the teacups from the range, which are £12 each. Daniel was the man behind Megan's beautiful makeup look on her wedding day, and the friends clearly enjoy their relaxing days together. Telling Good Morning America, we had breakfast. Guy, her dog, was with us. We were playing around with him. It was a very chill morning. Her mum Doria Ragland was there, which was amazing. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.